New video obtained exclusively by MN Safety shows a St. Paul officer being suddenly attacked by a suspect. The incident was captured on dash cam video as a police squad from a neighboring agency was arriving. Watch again as the suspect prepares to fight by pulling up his pants, squaring up at the officer, and taking a full swing. The officer was knocked into a lane of traffic, with the suspect on top of him and a car incoming. But by luck or by grace, the car stopped in time and another officer had just arrived, able to taser the suspect and bring him into custody. And here, the car takes their foot off the brake and continues towards the officer, close enough that he puts his hand and pushes against the car to get up. The suspect has since been convicted of felony assault on an officer. He was held on $30,000 bond and unable to bond out. He ultimately pleaded guilty to felony assault on an officer and was drunk at the time, so now also has his second DUI conviction. The judge gave a sentence of one year and one month, a downward departure from Minnesota sentencing guidelines. The probable cause statement also alleges that the suspect spit at officers, used PCP, and ultimately had to be sedated by medics due to his behavior. Here's where the case takes a bit of a plot twist. Officers found $1,900 cash in the vehicle and used civil asset forfeiture to take ownership of the cash they found. The suspect, now a plaintiff in a civil case, sued over the asset forfeiture. He states, rather succinctly, that the police took $1,900, all his big bills, and left him with only $80 left over, and clarified that he had no drugs or intent to sell, yet his money was still taken from him. In a court hearing in St. Paul, the city argued he was convicted of charges related to the seizure, but this doesn't seem true. There was no drug conviction in this matter. And separately, St. Paul was unable to show proof that they ever served the suspect to allow him to contest the asset forfeiture. St. Paul said he was served at the hospital, but keep in mind, medics had to sedate him, and he stated he was unconscious, negating the likelihood that he was served notice of the asset forfeiture attempt. Ultimately, the referee in this civil matter sided with the plaintiff, allowing him to get his $1,900 back, clarifying that he was never properly served notice, and that the forfeiture did not appear to be related to the charges in this matter, the charges of DUI and assault on an officer.